I talked at the conference about trade unions and precarious or atypical workers. That is one of the most important challenges that trade unions face, as there's been a big increase in various types of precarious work, which can be part-time work, uh, temporary work, temporary agency work, posted workers, outsourcing. And there are different combinations of, of these types of precarious work in different countries, depending on their levels of regulation. But basically, employers can always find some way to take advantage of workers and to make them more precarious. Precarious work is not a new phenomenon. But it's become a big issue for trade unions because it's so much on the increase and is in danger to their existing members if employers can find it easier, cheaper and more flexible to employ workers on inferior contracts such as temporary work. Unions traditionally have not sought to organize these workers, hoping instead that there'd be a reduction in precarious work and, and to organize and fight against precarious work. But it's now reached such a proportion in the European labor market. In some countries, over 25% of workers are on these contracts, and particularly young workers, where in France, for example, over 50% of young workers are on temporary contracts. It's important to listen to the concerns of these workers, many of whom are not traditional trade union members and would not otherwise think of joining a trade union. There have been a number of very successful organizing campaigns in the 10 countries I looked at in my research, uh, going from the Netherlands to France to Italy uh, to Germany. And these all involve listening to the concerns of the workers, trying to address their needs, and where possible, in most cases, giving them, letting them take the lead in organizing efforts. Very successful campaign in Germany, Operation Übernahme, of young metal workers, successful campaigns in the Netherlands organizing cleaners. These have led to better regulation, better contracts, but also, in some cases, an increase in trade union membership. Unions in Italy have organized separate unions for temporary and precarious workers. Unions uh, in the Netherlands have done the same. But existing unions also are paying more attention to this in the UK, France, many other countries, using innovative methods, sometimes using old institutions, like territorial-based unions, in order to address the problem of temporary workers often changing jobs, changing locations, to be able to serve them and look after their interests in a variety of jobs, in a variety of circumstances. So unions are responding positively. They are doing more to organize and represent these workers, get them into the union structures, especially important with young workers. So I believe the signs are positive for trade unions representing precarious and atypical workers.